Hello, this is Justin Seven with SportsbookReview.com. We are putting out a fraud warning against OddsMaker.com. In the last two months, they have stolen $186,132 from 12 different players, mostly for what's called professional play. OddsMaker is the flagship book of Future Bet, which later changes name to IGN and more recently to GameTech. Now, I want to give you a recent history of OddsMaker. They were rated at D minus. And about four or five months ago, they reached out to Sportsbook Review trying to improve their rating. They gave us a contact. And this is something a lot of books will do when they're trying to improve relations with SBR. They'll give us one, a point man who we can talk to pretty much at will to resolve disputes. And initially, back in September, October, November, we were actually making some progress. Uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of com small complaints that are recurring with OddsMaker. A big one was their $100 free promotion, where they send you a flyer in the mail for a free $100 account. But if you make any parlays or teaser wagers before meeting the other terms, they void all your action if you end up being a winner. Other minor issues were involved getting paid out or rollover disputes. But to the odds makers' credit, during that time period, they were able to discuss these and generally work them out. Uh, there were bigger problems that started in December. We had two unusual complaints. One of them, a player had $1,241 confiscated for playing arbitrages, and another one had $2,026 confiscated in a rollover dispute where he was betting both sides of a game on a juice fee promotion to meet rollover. Uh, you probably shouldn't rub it in their face doing that, but uh, that's certainly no reason to confiscate the money. Things really picked up in January. We received the first really big red flag complaint when a player had $18,600 confiscated for professional play. The player was originally accused of fraud. Uh, that was kind of backed off. And what we saw on a lot of these 12 complaints is there were kind of random reasons thrown out for why the money was being taken, but they always ended up going with professional play. Then in January, there were seven more complaints of confiscations. A player had $16,000 confiscated for professional play, $13,309 for security reasons that cannot be disclosed, 25,371 for professional play, 7,852 for professional play, 42,700 confiscated. Uh, they originally told the player he was linked with another player, but they eventually dropped that and went with professional play. 20,000 confiscated for professional play, and 13,900 confiscated for professional play. So I'm talking to the point man, you know, what are you guys doing? You can't take people's money for, for winning. And he said, no, we'll take care of it. We'll get this straightened out. We'll get it fixed. And they invited me to meet them at the Super Bowl. So I met three people from Oddsmaker at the Super Bowl, discussed face to face, and they agreed, you know, they, they shouldn't do this and that these people should be paid. And they were going to try to work on that. Uh, when I got back from the Super Bowl, in the next couple weeks, there were four more complaints of confiscations. Uh, 2400 this player, it wasn't quite clear why it was confiscated. They said he had not met his rollover, but his account was closed anyway. Another player had 8000 confiscated for professional play. A third February complaint was 8000 confiscated for professional play. And the last one in February was 10000 confiscated for professional play. So all told, 12 players had $186,132 stolen from them. I may have to say, is it stolen or is it confiscated? Well, let's take a quick look at Oddsmaker's rule on point. From the terms and conditions of their website, under the heading Fraudulent Activities and Prohibited Transactions, it reads, Arbitrage betting is not allowed. Members suspected of being professional bettors are deemed working with the assistance of sports betting syndicates or in collusion with other players or other sports books, or have been found to have committed credit card or any other type of fraud at online sites, may have their winnings voided, and accounts closed at the sole discretion of oddsmaker.com. I find it interesting that arbitrage and professional play are listed in the same category as fraud. But that aside, is this a reasonable rule? Is this something that a court would enforce? The problem with this rule is there are two situations most players are going to fall into. If the player loses money, it's fine. If the player loses money, the deal's done. If a player deposits and wins money, uh, Oddsmaker can argue he's a professional player. So with a normal sportsbook account, there's this implicit agreement that if the player loses his money, the sportsbook keeps it. If the player wins money, he gets paid. 
But with this rule, odds maker can pretty much at will decide we're not going to pay you. And when you have a, a term of a contract that is that lopsided, it basically destroys the whole agreement. That term is considered illusory. It makes the whole contract invalid if you try to keep that clause enforceable in it. And what most courts would do, a U.S. or English court, assuming gambling is legal in that jurisdiction, they would strike that clause because it's simply not enforceable. To my knowledge, Oddsmaker is the only sports book in the world that is trying to include a clause like this or you know, s rob players' accounts using a, a, a hokey rule like this. Now, I take that back. There have been some other books that have done this, but they have all been demoted to F and usually gone out of business pretty quickly. So this may be a sign of Oddsmaker's last hurrah, and you may see Game Tech changing its name shortly and opening up a new flagship book. But for now, obviously, I think you want to keep your money far away from Oddsmaker. Anyway, consider yourself warned. If you have any gambling or sportsbook-related questions, feel free to send me an email to justin at sportsbookreview.com.